doing? This is Black Shy Guy here once again. Thanks for sitting at my table. Before we continue with this video, make sure you hit the like button and even subscribe for any upcoming new videos I got coming. Let's get into my picks. Yes, Black Shy Guy's picks, baby. Yup, UFC 269 is coming up. Unfortunately, there's something bad that happened on the way to UFC 269, which hasn't arrived yet. Masvidal has backed out of the fight. I know, I know, you guys know that already. Whatever the case may be, Leon Edwards is highly disappointed in it. He's calling him all types of names. Even Conor McGregor got on freaking Masvidal. Oh, almost everybody in the network got on Masvidal. Even I got on Masvidal when I was working and I found that out. Because like I said, Masvidal has been highly disappointing as of late. And I have no, no tolerance for his fiasco that's been going on so who leon edwards is gonna fight i don't think he's gonna fight anybody i think that's completely scrapped unless something new came out that i don't know of but i think it's over i think leon edwards is not gonna fight anybody i think it's it's the done deal but what are my picks i'm just judging the big fights here i'm not i'm keeping this video short and simple i'm just judging the big fights here we got nunez and we got Pena, and we got Oliveira, and we got Poirier. I'm not even gonna freaking drag this video. Make sure you put your predictions down in the comments. I don't want to hear your predictions after the situation, after the after the event. I want to see your predictions now, right below. We just got done with UFC 268. I seen everybody's predictions, those who put down their predictions, and I was kind of interested. I was kind of surprised on some of the predictions. I kind of wasn't so. Hey, just make your predictions. There's nothing wrong. Gambling is for everybody. <laughs> Let's get into it. Matt Fidel and Edward, we know that's not happening. So put an X on both of these dudes. It's not happening. Unfortunately, Edwards is not going to experience the feeling of once again proving to everyone why he should get a title shot. So that is scrap. Edwards is moving on. Period. I don't know what's going to go on. But I think he's not even fighting in UFC 269 unless I unless there's something that I don't know of. I don't know. But we're gonna move on to Nunes and Pena, baby. Nunes and Pena. Listen, listen. Let's all pray for Pena, okay? Because I don't see her winning this match whatsoever. Nunes once again is gonna prove why she is the best pound for pound in women's division in the UFC period. There's nobody beating her this year. I think she's gonna pull it out this year once again in the UFC 269 I think if a defeat comes I think it's gonna come next year and I don't think that's even gonna happen because the only one who has a chance to beat her is the bullet and the bullet already declared that she is not trying to move up in weight whatsoever she's what 215 now so no I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> I said 215. <laughs> 115? So she's not moving up to 145, which is where Amanda Nunes is. So I believe the bullet is not even. I, I, I'm getting all the weights mixed up. Oh my God. Uh, the bullet, the point is, the bullet is not moving up in weight. She's not moving up in weight whatsoever. She's going to stay within her weight class. She even said it in the interview. She's not moving up whatsoever. And I think. That was the last opportunity of a woman having a chance to defeat Amanda Nunes. Even though Amanda Nunes defeated the bullet twice, I think twice. One definitely, one was undecisive, but Amanda Nunes defeated the bullet already. So Amanda Nunes basically proved that she's the best ever to do it in a woman's division in the UFC. So I think definitely she's going to end up retiring, but I don't see her retiring anytime soon. I don't know who's going to take that belt away from her, but I don't see anybody doing it anytime soon. So Amanda Nunes defeats Pena. Put the check on Pena. I'm not playing. Put that check on Amanda. What the hell am I saying? Anyway, let's move on. Oliveira and Portier. Listen, Poirier, I, I just don't see you beating this guy, but I see Poirier having a good chance. I, I Poirier has in he has improved. He's beaten Conor McGregor twice. And I believe the second match, okay, it wasn't all that it wasn't it wasn't an actual defeat, but let's be honest though. Let's really be honest though. He had McGregor in that beginning. You know, he had him. He kinda had him. So you gotta give Poirier a little something on that second match. 
So I, Poitier has been a very impressive dude, despite of what Kobe Covington has also been saying about him. Poitier has impressed a lot of people. Is he gonna have a chance against Oliveira? Um, if if Poitier does it, listen. If Poitier beats Oliveira, Poitier is he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna prove a lot. He's gonna prove people a lot of people wrong that he that he's up and coming and he's ready to do it. You know what I mean? Yes, he's beaten a Conor McGregor twice that has not been in the game. Conor McGregor has been basically out of the game. So, listen, I don't know if that even counts, but to me it does count. I mean, Conor McGregor, no matter what, he's the big deal. He's a real deal. So, he beat him twice. So, let's, come on, let's give him that. Let's give 48 that. But who's going to win in this match? What's my prediction? Put that check on Oliveira. I'm not playing. I'm not taking chances. That <laughs> Oliveira puts him down on the ground. I say second round. And for Manny Nunes and Pena, I say it's going to end in the third. That is my prediction. Unfortunately, like I said, Edwards and Masvidal is not going to happen. Make sure you put your predictions down below. Like I said with the Manny Nunes, I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to be a broken tape recorder. If the bullet does not move up in weight, there's no one that's going to defeat Amanda Nunes anytime soon. And don't tell me about freaking Cupcake. She ain't not going to beat. She's not. She doesn't have a chance against Amanda Nunes. She doesn't. And I believe she doesn't want to see Amanda Nunes anytime soon. Guarantee you, Cupcake does not want to see Amanda Nunes. Did you see that last fight they had? When Cupcake was like, I, 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 I can't do this. No, I, 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 I can't do it. I, 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 I can't do it. She, 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 she didn't want it. She don't want it. So Amanda Nunes is going to reign supreme for a while. But anyway, this is Black Shy Guy. Make sure you hit that like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you even subscribe. Thanks for sitting at my table. This is Black Shy Guy. I'm out of here.